Hello there, chiquities. Welcome to yet another diary entry. I'm Valeria Alicia. Today I'm going to bring you my April favorites. And I'm not going to lie to you, some of these were very surprising to me because I didn't think that I was going to love them this much. And some I've actually resuscitated <laughs> from a long time ago that I forgot I had and I absolutely love them this month. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to show you is something that I was very hesitant to buy because... I don't know. This 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 just brought a lot of controversy uh, as far as you know the person it was done with simply because of the way this person expressed herself and everything. But I'll be honest with you, she did recently come out and said that she she actually apologized and said that that was not who she was. And she, I think she did a really good job at explaining what had happened. You know what? Everybody deserves a second chance. So I was like, all right why not? I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> and it's the Amrezy and Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight. I have to tell you, she knocked it out of the park with this one. It's what I'm currently wearing and I absolutely love it. I get so many compliments when I'm wearing this highlight. It's just so beautiful and I think it goes with so many skin tones. It's just very there but not like too extreme. It's just very soft and it gives you that perfect glow. So I'm very, very impressed. I'm Reezy girl. You knocked it out of the park and I absolutely love it. Moving on to mascara. I have heard um, Carly Bible talk about this mascara so many times and I was always not really wanting to try it but then Kimberly had told me that she used it and she liked it and I was like all right why not it's a drugstore anyways and if you know me I only like to buy drugstore mascaras because I think they're just way too expensive I'm not paying $24 for a tube that's gonna get dried in like a month I just don't think it's worth it so I got the telescopic uh, L'Oreal mascara and you guys I'm so surprised it's what I use today on my eyelashes and I love it it's just that the the um spoolie brush whatever this is it's so bizarre i just didn't expect it to work so well because it's so short but I, i'm impressed i'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm very impressed with uh with the work it does and i'm hooked moving on to lips so from ju a they have this lip treatment it's called the conditioning lip treatment you guys this is probably the fourth tube that I got from them that I've used because I've gotten them at Generation Beauty with their bags. This is like the fourth one I'm on and I keep them in my drawers back here. I keep one in my purse and I just have them all over the place because I absolutely love this guy. And not only that, but when I wear it and then I wear lipstick on top, it just kind of makes my lip look more juicy. I've even been asked if my lips, if I've gotten my lips done or if I've got them done re retouched, which I did get my lips on last year, but that's a story for another day. But I haven't gotten my lips done since, gosh, it's been like a year and a half now. So every single time I wear this and then I wear lipstick on top like I am today, my lips just look a little more juicy and it just, it hydrates them amazingly. My lips don't feel dry, they don't feel sticky, they don't feel waxy, they just feel perfect. So. I absolutely love this guy. I've never personally bought it from the Jouer website, so I have no idea what it costs, but it is definitely worth it. From those of colors, I have been loving their brick color of their matte liquid lipstick. I know that their formula is amazing. I know you've heard so many people rave about this formula. I do love it. But I've been using it for work. I've used it a few times, and you guys, I apply this lipstick when my shift starts. So when I get there, it's like around 6, 6.30 in the morning. You guys, I get out at around 6.30 in the afternoon. I did not reapply this guy at all and my lips looked intact. So let me tell you, I am very, very impressed and the color does not bleed anywhere. I remember I had to wear a mask because I had to do certain things that require me to wear a mask in a hospital. And this guy, the only way it moved, it was with a mask and I was able to fix it super quickly once I got downstairs. So it is definitely one of my favorites. I love the color. It is very bright, but not too much. It's just enough. And it makes you your look just completely change and it makes you look like you put so much effort into your makeup when really all you did was put on foundation, mascara, 
and this guy. And it just automatically made it look like you put so much effort into your makeup when all you did was made it bright and out there. Next is a product that I'm not sure that I've ever talked about on my channel, but I've been using it a lot lately now because my skin's been very dry before I apply my makeup and after. And I've been loving the result. And it's the Smashbox Photo Primer Water. I don't know what I've done that I stopped using this guy. But I went back to it and I have no idea why I left. It is so amazing. It just melts every single thing together and makes your skin look so vibrant, hydrated, and just effortless. And I I don't know what I did that I stopped using this guy. I, I don't know. I think I stopped using just setting powder setting powders, setting waters all together. And this is definitely one that is definitely going to stay. I've tried the Tatcha and I liked it, but I feel like it leaves my skin a little oily and I don't like that. Uh, I've tried the Urban Decay All Nighter set. All Nighter? That one? I liked it too, but it still doesn't beat this guy. And then the MAC Fix Plus, I like it, but it's still, this is still my number one. So. I don't know why I left you, but I think it's here to stay. So the next item, I actually bit the bullet because I heard Dizzy Perkins talking about it so much and she said that for her simple looks, she likes to set her under eye with this powder. And I know how much it is, you guys, and this is my very, very first product from this brand. So let me tell you that when I paid, I was like, Ugh, I can't believe I just paid that much. But it is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder in the color medium. So this is what it looks like right here. It is definitely a game changer. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is definitely worth the money, but if you're on a budget, I totally understand. Definitely go drugstore because they have amazing products. I was just, I just happened to be at Nordstrom and they had it and I remember Desi Perkins talking about it and I was like, why not? I guess I'll do a little splurge and I'm definitely happy with the results. Um, it is definitely worth it. And can we talk about the packaging? It is super, super duper fancy. I mean, it better be for the price, right? Another oldie but goodie, you guys. Ah, oh, I absolutely love this blush and it's the Milani Luminoso. I'm sure if you've been around, if you've been watching YouTube for a long time, you know all about this guy right here. But I recently went back to it. I don't know if you can tell. I've been using the bejesus out of it. I absolutely love it. You can never use enough of this to, where, to the point where it makes it look like you have a patch of blush. It is super easy to blend. It just looks flawless. And I'm never worried that I put too much on my brush before I put it on my face. So that right there to me is everything. And it lasts all day. It is super beautiful. And I don't know. I'm, I'm addicted to it now. I, I used it before, I stopped, and then something just told me to pick it up. I think I was in a hurry, so I grabbed it, and man, I'm glad I did. Staying with the Milani family, I started using their lip liner in Spice, right? Yeah, number nine in Spice. Now, I had used this guy before, but at the time, it's right there, at the time, uh, Too Faced came out with one that was called, I think it was Spice Spice Baby or something like that. And I absolutely loved it and I started using that one and I totally forgot about this guy. Well, <laughs> Too Faced discontinued that product so I had to go back to this guy. And boy am I glad that I did because it stays all day. It is an amazing product. I mean an amazing lip liner that stays on your lips all day and is so good because I feel like it's definitely my lips but better so it works perfectly for to line my lips before any lipstick or anything like that so or any lip gloss so I really really like it. So my dark circles have been on fleek lately bad and so I decided to try the uh, Pro Conceal by LA Girl Cosmetics and you guys this is super cheap at the drugstore I think this is like two two or three bucks I put it under my eye and then I go on with concealer and let me tell you what a huge difference this makes okay I go from looking tired to instantly looking awake and the thing is you're probably thinking I don't need to do that I can just go in with concealer Yes, you can. However, concealer doesn't really take away the darkness in the like my inner corners because I have like an indent, kind of like a dip in my eye right here in my around my tear duct area. 
So that's the area that I really like to work with because that's the, that's the, my problematic area as far as dark circles. And so even if I don't have dark circles, just because it's concaved, I really suck at explaining this, but just because it has like a dip, <laughs> it makes it look like it's dark when it really isn't. So I have to play with my shadows. But when I use this guy, I don't have to worry about it because it basically cancels out that darkness. So it makes my eye look even more brighter and yeah, I've been using it ever since. I'm very impressed for only three bucks at the drugstore. What a steal. My next two products are gonna be from Bare Minerals, which I'm definitely surprised because Bare Minerals, I've actually, fun fact about me, Bare Minerals was the very, very first high-end um, brand that I ever used when I started using makeup. And this was back in high school, so a long, long time ago, many, many moons ago. But the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, this guy right here, I have it in the shade Desert 6.5. It is what I'm wearing right now. It is a uh, tinted hydrating moisturizer, and I have to tell you what a game changer this is. I've heard Danny from Coffee Break with Danny rave about this guy. She uses it a lot, and I've been struggling with my skin being super dry. And every single time I would put on any other foundation, it would basically look like my skin was cracking around my forehead area especially, and I absolutely hated it. So I went months, and I mean months, without wearing makeup to work especially. My coworkers were like, what's going on? Like, are you okay? Are you depressed? Why are you wearing makeup? And it was because it was just looking so bad that I decided to might as well not wear anything. But this guy changed everything for me. So I decided to give it a go, and boy am I glad that I did because it goes on flawlessly and my skin looks hydrated and it doesn't look like it's too much because it's medium coverage you can build it up to yeah to a full medium but I like it because it's not too much it doesn't make my face look super cakey and I absolutely love that and to go on with that I decided to go back to this guy which I already had in my drawer but this is excuse me this is the Bare Minerals uh, Complete Cover Serum Concealer this guy is in the color medium. It actually surprised me because I remember using it before but I only used it to highlight so I would use it right here in my nose, my chin and maybe a little bit over here but never truly to conceal under my eyes and I actually really like the coverage in it. It is, it is enough to cover my dark circles which surprised the heck out of me because I already told you guys how bad my dark circles are, so <laughs> yeah, it is very good, it's creamy, and it's super easy to blend, so that to me is key, and it works flawlessly, so I really, really like it. And then uh, the last product I'm going to talk about that is skincare. I, actually, my last product I'm going to talk about is skincare. After that, I only have like something else to show you, but this is the Bioderma uh, Sensibio H2O Solution Micellar Water. This is my second bottle I use, I'm already down to here, but this product is amazing. After I get out of the shower and I cleanse my face or, you know, clean my face and take my makeup off, I use this guy before I put on my moisturizer at night. And this guy, what a game changer. It, it cleans my face entirely, but it doesn't feel like super dry after it does that. It hydrates my skin at the same time. It's the strangest thing, but I am so impressed with it. I absolutely love it. I don't know what took me forever to go back to this guy because I've had it, but I've just been trying to go through my other micellar waters until I got to him or to her. And boy, am I glad I did. Ah, so good. And then the last thing I have here to show you is something that I'm not quite sure that you can find anywhere. It honestly, it has nothing to do with the with what it is, okay? It has to do with, I'll show you, okay. So it's this mirror, and this is the Benefit mirror that, you know, you see at Ulta and all of that. It has nothing to do with the mirror, I promise. It just has to do with having something closer to you so you can put on mascara, do your um, eyebrows or anything else. Sometimes you just need to get a little closer, and having a mirror like this to me is everything. What a game changer. I'm so surprised, look at like right here. I needed to fix my hair. <laughs> anyway, I really like it because sometimes you just need a little something to get a little closer. And these guys, sometimes they're just not enough. They're, they're just too tiny. But a little something a little bigger like this is just perfect because I can see my entire face and I'm closer. So I really, really like 
this kinds of mirrors, okay? It doesn't have to be, once again, the benefit one or like a very expensive one like Chanel or something like that, but just a mirror that covers your entire face so that you can see everything a little closer. So I really, really like it, especially to do my eyebrows and my mascara because I have to I have to get in there and get it good. All right, my babies. So I really hope that you have enjoyed my April favorites. I know it was a little different. I haven't done one of these favorites, I think in like, a year and a half. It's been quite a long time, so I really hope that you liked it. If you did, please leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorites are and what you think I should try next. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next diary entry. Un besote. Bye. Su actitud malvada, un poco interesante. Su estilo retro, como los de antes. No se puede conseguir este diamante en una mina. Pura, pura, pura